Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here this evening in our prenatal yoga flow. Today's session is going to be about labor prep. Poses that we can do during labor to help relax the mind and the body and prep the body for labor. And before we get started, I ask that we gather any supplies we feel we may need for our session here today. Maybe we can grab a yoga block, a blanket, these are just options, and also a bolster pillow. And again, these are just these are just options. We may or may not use these during our session here today. Also, gather or um, grab something to drink, light a candle, throw the lights, step out of the diffuser. These are things that we can use to help relax the mind and body and bring us inward. And once we gather our supplies, may we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. Maybe you're sitting flat on your buttocks. Maybe you're sitting on a nice bolster pillow. Whatever you choose. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and ground our mind and our bodies here today. Taking a couple subtle breaths, using the breath to bring us inward. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, breathe in, exhale through the mouth, breathe in, exhale through the mouth. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, which is the center of our chest, ensuring that our shoulders are not up. They are nice and relaxed downward away from our ears. No shrug, shoulders here. A lot of times we sit in tension. We sit tensed with our shoulders up, just relaxing those shoulders down allows us to help reduce any neck pain or discomfort in the upper body. As we continue to gaze our eyes down, we're gonna take a couple more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, our palms are together. Interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, you may feel this here in your lumbar back, your lower spine. We're going to hold this for three breaths. Two. Exhale into center, separating the palms. We are now in our seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. We're going to hold this pose with our arms up in the air as we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. As we are welcoming in to our lives, positive vibes and energies. Keeping our, God, keeping our eyes gazed down if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. And you may feel simply holding your arms up in the air, you may feel your arms starting to firm here. So simply just staying still with arms up, you can actually feel the body working and getting stronger. As we slightly twist our bodies towards the right, just a nice subtle twist. Remember when we are pregnant, we don't wanna take deep twists. So a nice subtle twist, as we bring our arms downward towards the earth, fingertips touches the yoga mat, we're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Still in that subtle spinal twist, keeping the eyes gaze down, taking nice subtle breaths here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our arms out towards the side. We are now in a seated star. Our palms are outward towards the side. Holding this pose, two breaths. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the yoga mat. 
as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Ensuring that we are not going too deep in our twist. Taking nice subtle breaths here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing back to that star. Palms are out towards the side. Flowing to that extended mountain. Palms are up above our head, but they are not together. Chin is up. Breathing our palms together in our salute. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. As we gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. Taking a moment to thank ourselves for practicing our prenatal yoga here today. Maybe we can place our palms on our tummies if that feels good for you. Maybe we're not pregnant. Maybe we are trying to manifest baby. Prenatal yoga is a good um, session to take when you're when someone's trying to become pregnant. We're simply working on a power of attraction here, relaxing and soothing the mind and body to manifest baby. Maybe we're pregnant, we are showing our baby a little love by placing our palms on our tummies. Whatever we choose, we can keep our palms at heart center also. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out of this position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. We're going to bring our feet together. This is a bound position. In our bound position, you may notice there's plenty of space here for baby here. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body. It's a, it's a nice hip opener. This prepares the body and the hips for labor. Our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our torso. This is an even deeper hip opener. So listening to your body and doing a diamond or a butterfly, whatever feels best for you. We're going to bring our palms to our feet, keeping our heart chakra open and our chin up. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes. Maybe we'll allow our head to relax slightly between our shoulder blades. Kind of coming into that cow, that seated cow. Whatever feels best for you, we're going to soothe and relax here as we open up those hip flexors for four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips just a little, ensuring that we are not going down too deep here in our hinge. Listening to your body and only going down as much as you are able to comfortably go down. Allowing the shoulders to simply just melt forward, allowing the head to relax down. You may feel this pose in your lower back, depending on how deep down you go, ensuring that we are not squishing baby. So listening to your body and noticing how you feel within as we are hinging at the hips. Three more breaths. Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly. We're gonna take our legs and we're gonna bring them out towards the sides, feeling that nice wide legged stretch here. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens as we plant to flex our toes downward towards the earth. So pointing our toes downward, kind of like that ballerina's foot. You'll feel that arch in the bottom of your foot. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips, connecting both hands to our lower legs. Taking a moment to notice how this feels as we are hinging at the hips. Maybe your eyes are gazed down or closed, and you may feel this in your inner thighs here. Feeling that stretch. We're going to hang out here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up, feeling that nice, elongated spinal cord here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we connect this right hand to this to our right toes. So just bringing our hands down towards those toes. Our body slightly hinge or lean towards that right thigh. Just feeling that stretch here. 
keeping in mind we are working on opening up those hip flexors to prepare the body for labor. And if this feels good, we can extend this left arm above the head. And simply just feeling that stretch, maybe allowing our hand to come to the earth and reaching over our head if we're able. This is a nice deep stretch. This is our revolve while they get stretched. We're gonna hold this pose for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to center. We're gonna slightly hinge at the hips just a little. Heart chakra's open, chin is up. Exhaling back to a nice straight back as we connect our left hand to our left toes. Feeling that stretch. As we allow our bodies to lean towards our left leg, we are in that revolve wide naked stretch here. <clears throat> Allowing that torso to come closer towards the thigh, head melts down. And if we choose, we can extend this right arm over our head, connecting the right fingertips towards the left toes. Going nice and deep in that stretch, as much as we can comfortably go, shall I say. Maybe we're halfway. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. We're gonna breathe our legs inward just a little. We are in our staff pose. But if we have a big belly, maybe we can't get into that staff pose because we're taken away from space. So maybe we come into a wide-legged staff. With our spinal cords nice elongated here, our shoulders relax downward away from our ears as we are gazed forward. Breathing our palms above our heads in our salute. Chin is up. Exhale the prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center, relaxing the shoulders down. With our eyes closed or gaze down, two breaths. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, we're gonna come into a tabletop pose. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart, our palms are flat on the earth. As we drop down to our cow, our tummies come downward towards the earth. You'll feel that sunken lumbar back here with our chin slightly up. This cow pose is a spectacular labor prep pose. It helps with labor pain. It also helps with back pain. So we're gonna hang out here in this cow for three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up in the air, being mindful of the belly. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming to our table, we're gonna rest here for a couple breaths. Checking out and noticing how we feel. As we breathe our right leg towards the back, we're gonna work on that sunbird pose here. Gazing forward. And if it's in our practice here today, we're going to extend that left arm forward. Now we are in that complete sunbird. This is a balancing and strengthening pose. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhaling down to table, drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe our left leg towards the back, nice and elongated here, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth, balancing and strengthening here. Gaze forward. And if we're able, we can breathe that right arm forward. We are now in that full sunburn. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, we are building strength in our arms. 
Maybe in our damn dog, our legs are wide to create space for baby if that's needed as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left to right. Finding pause, shifting that weight forward, coming into a high plank or a low plank. We also can option to drop to our knees if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Maybe we're wide legged here. Or coming into a half forward fold if we are feeling a little dizzy or lightheaded. Sometimes when we get in our bigger months, a complete forward fold causes dizziness. So listening to your body, complete forward or half forward fold, four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhaling up to a half forward fold if we were not already there. As we come up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. Maybe we're wide legged, creating that nice stance. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. As we flow our palms above our heads in our salute, interlacing our fingers together, fingers flow slightly towards the back, filling this slight back bend here. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms. We are now in that standing extended mountain. Palms are separated as our bodies lean slightly towards the right. We are in that standing side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Standing extended mountain. As we lean our bodies to the opposite side, feeling that side bend in our side body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms together in our standing salute. Exhaling down to standing prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center as the shoulders flows downward away from the ears. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we stand nice and tall in our standing prayer, May we always be grounded and rooted in our life, knowing who we are, knowing where we are going, as we ground and always being humble. Taking a moment to simply just go inwards, focusing on self, focusing on where we are going and where, what we are going to do and be, focusing on baby within and motherhood ahead. Or maybe we are manifesting baby. We're gonna stand here in our standing prayer as we are grounding and rooting with four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. Our palms are still at heart center, slightly gazing forward, our backs are straight. Noticing how this feels behind your legs in your hamstrings here. Two breaths. Exhale back up to that Tadasana. We are wide-legged. We're gonna come into our cactus hands. We're gonna breathe our feet outward towards the side. We're gonna flow down, bending those knees, coming into that goddess stance. This here is a labor prep pose. It also tones and firms the bottoms of our legs, our bottoms of our bodies here. So filling that body, Get nice and strong as we pulse the body up and down. Now this pulse is just an option. We can stay still. We also can rock the body from side to side. You'll feel the leg muscles, the quads working here. Two more breaths. As we find that pause at center, standing up to our standing star. Legs are wide, palms are out towards the sides. We are in a standing star. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. 
as we are standing firm and strong in our standing star, for we are a star, we are bright, as we shine nice and brightly here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to the goddess stance, bending those knees, working the lower parts of the body, labor prep, tossing the body up and down here. We are building strength as we rock our body from side to side, if we're able. Or we can toss the body up and down. Or stay still. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to that star. Palms are out towards the side. Take a nice, settled breaths. Flowing to our salute, palms above the head. Exhale down the prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. As we bend our knees, coming into that prayer hand, goddess stance. Coming down as nice and low as you can. Prepping that body for labor. We're gonna hold this pose, four breaths. Coming out whenever we need. Two breaths. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold or half forward fold. Connecting the hands underneath the knees or connecting the hands to the ankles. Allowing that head to relax downward if you're able. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind if you feel dizzy to only come half forward. This here is a full body stretch as we allow the body to relax and soothe here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're gonna walk our hands forward, bringing our legs together, coming into that down dog. Gazing back at our feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're gonna find that pause. We're gonna, we're gonna breathe that right foot towards that right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. As we straighten that right leg coming into a pyramid. So feeling that stretch. If we have big bellies, maybe our torsos are slightly off towards the side. Being mindful of baby within belly. So this pyramid stretches the stretches behind the legs here in the hamstring. So simply feeling that stretch, allowing that head to melt down if you're able. If you get dizzy, slightly putting the hands on the shins and slightly gazing forward here. Three more breaths. Exhaling up, we're gonna work on a triangle here. We can use a yoga block. This way we're not overstretching. We can have the yoga, the yoga block nice and tall. Or we can just have it flat on the earth. So whatever feels good, we're gonna work on that triangle, bringing that right hand to that right ankle. Gonna go to that extended triangle, lifting that left arm up in the air, Feel the next stretch. Allowing the body to relax and soothe and also balance here. Keeping in mind the yoga block is your friend. Three more breaths. Exhaling out, connecting this left hand to the earth or to the yoga block. We're gonna work on a revolve triangle if we're able. Twisting the body towards the thigh as that right arm goes up in the air. So whenever our body twists towards our leg, we call it a revolved pose. And this revolved triangle is just an option. If the tummy's too big, we're gonna hang out in that regular triangle for a couple more breaths. Whatever you choose, revolved or regular triangle. Three more natural breaths here. Two breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that pyramid, straightening that front leg. Keeping in mind, if we get dizzy, 
We're going to be in that half pyramid, slightly gazing forward. As we bend our knee, coming back to that runner's lunge, exhale back, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog as we pedal our feet left and right. As we find that pause, we're going to breathe that left foot to that left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Straightening that leg, coming into that pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. If we feel dizzy, we're going to come into that half pyramid. We're not going to go all the way down. Just slightly gazing forward. Three more breaths. Exhaling up, we're gonna grab our yoga block if we need it. We're gonna work on our triangle opposite side, left hand to left ankle. Breathing that right arm up in the air. We are now in that extended triangle, feeling that stretch. Using our yoga block. This way we're not overstretching the body. And there are several ways to use that yoga block here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale down, we're coming into that revolved triangle, bringing that right hand towards the earth as we twist that body towards that thigh. Left arm comes up in the air, revolved triangle. Using our yoga blocks, we don't wanna overstretch here. We don't have to. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, coming forward, back into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, allowing the torso to relax over that thigh, head melts down, or slightly gazing forward here in that pyramid. Being mindful of the body feeling dizzy. We don't wanna get dizzy here. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale back to run his lunge, bend the neck, front knee. Flow into our down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping down to our, we're um, gonna come onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose, if we're able. If we feel dizzy, we're gonna come down to a a wide-legged puppy pose, extended puppy pose. Or if we're able, we're gonna come into that dolphin pose. We are on our forearms, buttocks is nice and high in the air. We are gazed back at our feet, four breaths. This pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, now we're gonna flow into our puppy pose as well. We are wide-legged, we are extended, meaning our hands are in front of us, flat on the earth, buttocks is high in the air, our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. Taking nice, subtle breaths here, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward, closing our eyes or gazing our eyes down here. As we take this time to go inward, focusing on self, seeing how we feel and going inward. We're gonna use this puppy pose to simply just show us the light, show us the way or reveal what needs to be rebuilt. May we hang out here for six natural breaths of silence. Maybe we can breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands puppy pose. Four more breaths. Two 
two breaths. Flowing back to that extended puppy pose with our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose. And when you're spinal waving, you'll feel this in your spinal cord, you'll feel this in your hips, and you're, we're using our hands to push our torsos forward, and we're using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. As we are waving that spinal cord here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at table. Coming back to our cow, dropping the body down. Tummy comes downward towards the earth. Chin is up. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table, pushing the body up to our down dog. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet left and right. Finding pause, shifting to high plank or low plank. We're coming down to the knees. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold or half forward fold. Take a nice subtle breath here. Maybe we can walk our feet slightly apart to create that stance for safety if need be. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold if we were not already there. As we flow up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. As we yogi walk our feet side by side, we're just working on our hip flexors here, seeing how we feel here within our hips. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, chin is up. Exhale to prayer, relax in the palms at heart center. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. And we're gonna play with balancing just for a couple breaths here. We're gonna work on a half tree. We're not even gonna go all the way into the tree. We're gonna slightly lift that right foot off the earth, connecting it to our lower parts of our thigh. Or we can actually keep our feet on the earth and create that kickstand. We don't want anyone to lose their balance here. So listening to your body. So having a kickstand here in our tree, we can bring that leg right slightly above our ankle. If we are able, we can come into that full tree pose if we're able to keep our balance. So whatever feels best for you, because we are gonna have to find balance in our lives, right? Once we have baby, we're gonna have to juggle baby and mom life and cooking and cleaning and maybe even work. We got to balance and sleep. So balance is the key here. As we work on our tree pose for two more breaths. As we slowly exhale out of that tree, we are back in our Tadasana, pedaling our feet once again, left and right, seeing how we feel in our hips. As we find our pause, breathing up to our salute, palms above the head, chin is up. Exhale back to prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center here. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we work on our tree pose opposite side, maybe we'll start out in our kickstand, slightly lifting that feet up. We are on our tippy toes with our heel. Relaxing on the side of our leg. We are in our tree. We are balancing here. And we can hang out here and stay here, listening to the mind and body. Balance is key. We don't want no one falling over. If you're able, only if you're able, we can slightly lift that leg up, that foot up, slightly above the ankle. We are still in that tree. Or 
we can bring that leg deep up inside of our inner thigh. Whatever tree pose we decide to be in, we are simply just knowing that when we have baby, we're gonna have to balance a lot of things in our lives, but it's doable because balance is key in anything in life, even when there's no baby. So as we stand in our tree pose, may we work on or go inward on how we're going to find balance to bring into our lives once baby comes. We'll all come up with our intrinsic ways and techniques to balance our life as we expand our family. Two more breaths. As we slowly come out of that tree pose, finding our bodies back in our Tadasana, pedaling our feet left and right, <sighs> taking a nice deep breath in, exhale. Feeling that body relax and soothe as we separate our feet, finding that stance here. <sighs> Breathing our palms above our heads. Exhaling down to prayer. Coming to our cactus hands, balling our hands in a fist. We're gonna come down to a squat, not a yogi squat, just a regular squat here. Making our legs nice and wide-legged. We're gonna squat that body down. We're just gonna hold it. Cause this is our squat pose. This is our labor prep pose. As we build strength in our hips, our legs, the lower parts of our bodies. Preparing for baby. And you may feel that burn in your quads. Two more breaths. As we exhale out, coming into that yogi squat, that malasana, coming on down. Now we are closer to the earth. Now we are in that yogi squat. And we're going to hang out here and balance here. Maybe we have a pillow or something underneath our heels of our feet. Maybe our feet are flat on the earth here in that yogi squat. Whatever squat you choose to do, this is a labor prep pose. As we breathe our palms at heart center, our heart chakra is open, our chin is slightly up, and we can gaze the eyes downward. And if we're able, if we can keep our balance, we can even close our eyes. As we go inward, focusing on the breath, focusing on the mind and the body, as we prepare our bodies and our mind and our lives for baby to come. We're gonna go inward here in our yogi squat for six natural breaths. Feeling the mind and body balance. Maybe our eyes are closed. Maybe they're not. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Connecting the hands to the earth. <sighs> Straightening our legs, coming into that complete forward fold or that half forward fold. This is a counter stretch to what we just did. You may notice that your knees feels a little tired and tight here from being, from having events. So straightening out those legs is a nice counter pose. It helps relax and soothe the legs. Slightly gazing forward if we're in that half forward fold. If we're in that complete forward fold, allowing that head to relax completely downward here. Maybe we can rock or sway our body from side to side in that complete forward fold. You'll feel that behind your legs and your hamstrings. Whatever we choose, four breaths. We can even flow into a rag dial, hugging our elbows if we choose. Three more breaths. Mm. 
Finding pause at center, coming to that half forward fold. Walking our hands forward, breathing our legs together, down dog. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna come into a puppy pose. Our buttocks is high in the air. Arms are extended in front of us. That makes it an extended puppy pose. Third eye chakra connects to the earth, four breaths. Two more breaths. Flow into our child's pose, coming nice and wide-legged here. Torso comes more between our thighs. We are nice and wide-legged, creating that space for baby. Buttocks is now downward towards the heels. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. As we take a nice deep breath, exhale. Feeling the shoulder blades melt forward. Slowly closing the eyes or gazing the eyes down. Taking a notice of how the puppy pose feels within the body compared to the child's pose. They look very similar, however, they feel a little different within the body. As we go inward here in silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Three breaths. Exhaling out, coming to our table, flowing to our cow, dropping the tummy down, chin is up. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we come on to our knees, we're going to work on our camel prep. So we are here on our knees. We're not gonna go too deep in our camel here today. Placing our hands at the lower parts of our backs. Fingertips are facing downward towards the buttocks. And we're going to allow our torso to slightly lean towards the back. You'll feel your tummy coming forward. Maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades slightly. And this pose is spectacular for lower back pain. So a lot of times moms, especially when they get big bellies, sometimes it creates that back pain. So putting them in a subtle camel pose, we don't want them to um, hurt themselves. So slightly coming up and slightly leaning towards the back and relaxing that head. Has amazing effects on lower back pain. So we're gonna hang out here in this pose and just simply see how it feels within a body for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and out of that camel prep. Of course, if we're able, we wanna go into that complete camel, we can. We can connect the right hand to the right heel of the foot. This is a half camel. We can go into a whole camel connecting the left hand to the left heel and allowing that body to relax towards the back. But this is a super deep back bend. So only going into this pose if you are capable and able and you know what your body can do. Otherwise, we want to play it safe and we want to stay in that camel prep. We're going to hang out here for an additional three breaths.
Exhaling out, we're going to come back into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Whatever pose you feel your body needs in this moment. Child's pose or puppy pose. Wide-legged, bringing the torso down. Arms are extended in front of you, or maybe we are in our prayer hands. Whatever you choose. Five natural breaths. Closing the eyes. Gaze in the eyes downward, if that feels good. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Third eye chakra is connected to the earth as we are going inward, focusing on self, mind, body, and baby. Four more breaths of silence. Extending our arms in front of us, spinal waving our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Two breaths. Coming back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose just for a second. We're going to flow onto our backs. We're going to use our pillows if we are five months or above. Keeping in mind that we don't want to lay flat on our backs when we are when we have big bellies that uh, that puts pressure on the vena cava, which can cause the body, the mind, to feel dizzy. So, if we are too much, too big in our months, we're going to use that pillow underneath our hips. This allows us to elevate our pelvic bone here, our pelvic floor. Allowing the vena cava to not have pressure. And we're going to breathe our legs up and we're going to come into a happy baby or a wide legged happy baby. Keeping in mind the belly. So being mindful of tummy. So wide legged. <sighs> Hands are connected to the feet. Feet are up in the air here. This is a hip opener as well. This pose prepares the mind and body for labor. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. We can rock our body from side to side if that feels good. Using the earth to relax and soothe your spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, extending the legs up in the air. We are in our legs on a wall pose. Keeping that pillow underneath the, um, the, the buttocks to keep the pelvic tilted forward. Widening those legs, coming into a reclined, wide-legged stretch here. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. We are prepping that body for labor. Three more breaths, just feeling that stretch. Two breaths. Breathing the legs back together. Breathing our knees to our chest or coming wide-legged knees to chest. We don't want to squeeze baby. So wide-legged knees to chest. Legs are off towards the side of the belly. As we allow our legs to flow towards the left, we are in our reclined spinal twist. Fill in that spinal cord, decompress here. Knees fall towards the left. Right arm comes out to the side. And we can gaze over that right shoulder. Or we can gaze up at the heavens as we are soothing and relaxing here. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Closing the eyes or gazing the eyes down. Five natural breaths here. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling back to center, coming into a wide legged knees to chest. Legs are off to the side, be a mindful of baby. As we allow our legs to flow to the opposite direction, Recline spinal twist, opposite sides, feeling that spinal twist. Left arm 
Both out to the side as we gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens, if that feels good for you. Continuing to relax and soothe for five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Removing that pillow from underneath our buttocks. And we're gonna come onto our side, onto a fetal pose, placing that pillow between our thighs now. Pillows between the thigh. We can use another pillow for our neck or a blanket for our neck. As we relax and soothe here in our fetal position, we are laying in a fetal pose the way the fetus may be within the belly. Maybe we can place our hand on our bellies as well. Give a baby, showing a fetus or manifesting baby, just showing it a little love and affection. Showing self a little love and affection. As we relax and soothe here in our fetal pose, five natural breaths. Feeling the body soothe and relax. Nice, subtle breaths here. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our ankles, moving our bodies at our hips, taking that top hand and pushing our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, any seated position of choice. I am gonna come into a cow face legs. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you and your body here today, ensuring that the spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Sometimes when moms have big bellies, we may kind of I'm come out of that cow face. We sometimes may kind of lean forward, hunching our bodies. We want to ensure that we keep that nice, elongated spine. The nice, elongated spine also creates extra space in the belly for baby. When we sunk our backs downward and hunch, we are decreasing the space within the belly. We are making more back pain within the body and you may feel the baby under your ribs more. So sitting up, nice elongated spine, helps with lower back pain. It also creates space. It helps with feeling like the baby's under your rib. Nice elongated spine. Shoulders relax down away from the ears, allowing the upper parts of our bodies to also soothe and relax. Gaze in the eyes downward or closing the eyes, if that feels good. As we take a nice breath in, Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Keep in mind that when we are in labor, we don't want to hold the breath. Holding the breath intensifies contractions. Always breathing, keeping the air flowing, keeping the circulation going. Always breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Being mindful to breathe through the contractions, never holding that breath. As we breathe our palms at heart center, 
We are in a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching the sternum, the center of our chest. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice prenatal yoga here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice prenatal yoga with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.